Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in 1 Samuel today. We are at chapter 9, verses 15 through 21. Let's see what it says. Now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear the day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow about this time I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin, and you shall anoint him commander over my people Israel, that he may save my people from the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry has come to me. So when Samuel saw Saul, the Lord said to him, There he is, the man of whom I spoke to you. This one shall reign over my people. Then Saul drew near to Samuel in the gate and said, Please tell me, where is the seer's house? Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me to the high place, for you shall eat with me today, and tomorrow I will let you go and will tell you all that is in your heart. But as for your donkeys that were lost three days ago, do not be anxious about them, for they have been found. And on whom is all the desire of Israel? Is it not on you and on all your father's house? And Saul answered and said, Am I not a Benjamite of the smallest of the tribes of Israel, and my family the least of all the families of the tribe of Benjamin? Why then do you speak like this to me? So we'll cliffhanger it right there. Sorry. But let's look at what's going on. The day before this, Saul knows nothing yet, but Samuel does. The day before this, God tells Samuel, tomorrow you're going to see the guy that's going to be the king. So go over here. So what does Samuel do? He goes over here. He gets ready. He gets the people ready for a sacrifice. Remember the people that were met on the way? They already knew that uh, yesterday morning there was going to be a sacrifice. Notice that God has looked upon his people because their cry has come to him. Now, their cry is wrong. I mean, their solution is wrong. We want a king to judge us like all the nations, not a judge. We want a king. And we know that that's not God's best plan. They've not rejected you, Saul. They've rejected me from reigning over them. Nevertheless, I'm going to give them a king. So it's interesting. God hears the cry of his people, but sometimes sometimes the cry of his people, sometimes our prayer, our desire is, 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 is crooked. It's, it's wrong. It's not what's really best. And yet, God will work with us. We'll get an education. We're always getting that education, aren't we? So he's going to provide a king. And here's Saul. So far, Saul's looking okay. It's Saul seems to have this inkling after he talks, because there's sort of a hint going on here. And Saul seems to have an inkling of something big is going on. And Saul says, who, what about me? Hey, I'm, I'm from the smallest tribe. I am the smallest family in the smallest tribe. I mean, you know, stop playing with me. But anyway, we'll see that God is quite serious. And Samuel, his servant, is quite serious too. What do we think about all this? Well, even if you're from the smallest tribe, if you're from the smallest family, even if you're the, the seem like you're the least optimum person in your church congregation, hey, you know what? God wants to use you. He wants to use me. Another thing that's going on here is that God is listening, listening all the time. God's, God is listening to the prayers. His, his ears are open to the prayers of his people. And so do not neglect prayer. Do not to get, neglect to pray to him. Be careful what you pray. <laughs> We want to be on God's side. Hey, let's pray together right now. Your Father in heaven, we see that your heart is for your people. You are going to provide what they've asked for. They're going to get a learning experience, and you will still work through the human king. But Lord, we just pray that we will recognize that even though we're the smallest, even though we are the, the seem like we're the least possible person that's going to be an effective spiritual agent for you, Lord, you have a way of working with us. I believe you'll work with us just as diligently as you worked with Saul. So please, Lord, guide your people. Help us to be in the word day by day and be our leader. Be our leader. Thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. So maybe you're the smallest family, the most troubled family. Maybe yours is the most dysfunctional family. That's an interesting new word these past few decades. God will still use you. God will still use you. Do not sell short, not yourself, but the God of heaven. He's looking for people to be on his team. God be with you today in all that you do.